Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about the PowerShell commands that we are going to use for synchronization specific to AA the Connect tool. So let's try to understand uh, how the scheduler works. So by default, the scheduler uh, syncs every 30 minutes, and you can use the get hyphen AD sync scheduler command line to get more information. You see here, you have the uh, changes that are going to happen every 30 minutes. The sync cycle interval and currently effective cycle is 30 and the next cycle it's going to be delta you will have the synchronization cycle that consists of a process to import sync and export the changes and also you do have the maintenance task which is going to be renewing the keys and certificates for your password reset and the device registration uh, the device registration service we also call drs uh, which will be used for the uh, purging all entries in the operation log so the scheduler whatever we have read now this is the get scheduler um, specific command which will tell us um, the sync cycle specific so by default which is a 30 minute cycle and um, it can run and if you want to uh, force it you can always do and remember that the seven days is the uh, purge history interval so within seven days it has to be sync otherwise it's gonna go for uh, the throwing some kind of errors which you can check out in the upcoming AD connect health monitoring tool uh, where you will have more information on the error logs and how to troubleshoot on that part if you want to see how the uh, how it will be available from the GIS specific you need to go to connectors so within this connector you have the two connectors which we talked in the previous lectures if you remember one for your active directory one other one would be for your Azure Active Directory and this is where it's going to use actually and the status I will show you when is when it is actually running so it is currently idle that means it's not doing any kind of thing specific activities or not running we can also find the same information from AAD Connect uh, status uh, where you run this get AD sync connector run status so that would actually show you uh, if it is actually busy or some other activity is running so currently it is no activities performing so you don't have any output in any case if it is actually running you also get that information as run state and the connector information for doing the delta sync you can use the start ad sync uh, one more sync cycle that's it you know two times you get the sync sync and it's gonna actually run if you just refresh here in the keyboard by pressing f5 or f5 sorry uh, you are able to see here the status is running and also similarly if i just go here and you see here it's still busy by adding the get ad connector run status it's still busy and it takes some time to uh, run and it's finished so if I just go back here and run the same command it will not show you any any status because it's not busy so the command what we have run earlier is uh, all about the policy for the Delta and you can also do for the full to run the full cycle all you have to do is uh, just instead of the Delta you can actually specify as the initial so that would actually run a uh, complete policy type is initial so it's a full cycle but this is very rarely used and uh, I don't recommend that you can you know go for this but it is purely based on the requirement where you wanted to fully initiate the cycle maybe last seven days it is over or something like that then you would be using the policy psych policy type is the initial so if I just do that um, in my this is my test environment so I can just show you so what would happen is it actually it's going to be fully uh, do the process of the sync for export and uh, compassion and then you know uploading the only required data so if I just you know refresh here uh, it's still running because it's a big one so it just finished now and you can see here the information that has been uh, successfully populated and also uh, most of the admins as your admins also use only start ad sync that's a sync cycle so that would actually does the initial uh, sync up of the policy and it gives you the full result uh, if at all you're getting an error saying uh, if you try to you know do any of the 
AD sync cycle specific uh, issues actually you need to have the a module called AD sync so you can what you can do is you can actually go and import module AD sync and then uh, then you can start AD sync AD uh, sync specific like AD connect start AD sync sync cycle command I'm sorry <laughs> too many syncs in between but that's that's a right command that's how it's there and uh, this is all about uh, how to demonstrate for the sync specific commands that can be used you can also refer the documentation which I'm going to provide uh, along with this lecture I hope this is useful for you thank you